Hello guys, welcome to my latest tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to extract 3D models, 3D assets from any PlayStation 1 game. As far as I know, some games might work better than, our, than others. In my case, I'm going to show you how to extract uh, player models or the fighters models from Dragon Ball Final Bout, uh, also known as Dragon Ball GT for the PlayStation 1. So the end result, what we're looking for is to get these things like I already did with these four characters. As you can see, I already have Goku uh, base adult here. I, go, I got Goku Super Saiyan 4. I got a Vegeta Super Saiyan and I got Vegeta Super Saiyan. So I have these things. So we're going to, I'm going to try and show you how I did this. So first you will have to download the special version of the emulator. It's Duck Station, but it's a special version which is called 3D Screenshot. Just go into Google, just Google Duck Station 3D, sta 3D Screenshot. Download the latest release here, the latest build. Um, once you download it, just make sure to have it in the folder. Once you execute it for the first time, as always, you will have to, uh, you know, configure the emulator, get the BIOS. Um, a new folder is going to be created inside the documents duck station here place the PlayStation 1 BIOS that you have here and uh, that's pretty much it you'll have a new folder here named screenshots 3d so uh, I'm going to open the emulator now once you open the emulator you will see that I have the final bout ISO here already recognized so I'm gonna launch the game um, so what you want to do here is go into the free screenshot menu, enable show 3D screenshotter and leave it like here like so. If you want to do some some sprite capture or stuff like that, you will have to enable 2D mode but not for this case because we're going to do the 3D stuff. So I'm going to take Goku, make a hammy hat, take a screenshot with that pose which I obviously fail and I will try again. You'll have to do it in real time. Whenever you get the model in the desired position, you'll have to quickly click and take screenshot. And you will see some weird glitches and that means that it worked. So I'm going to try again. I'm going to go and try again. Pick like that. So there you saw that you saw like a little glitch of graphics. So we're going to close the emulator now. And we're going to go into documents again into that station folder and then you're going to go into the screenshot 3d folder go into you will see a new folder created with the name of your game and then you go into site inside here and you will see all the different textures used by that screenshot that you took for example the stage uh textures the enemy textures of you know kid boo or stuff like that for goku textures is kind of more tricky you will see all this crap this that doesn't make it a lot of sense um but whatever so whatever the thing that you really need is uh, you are looking for is the mtl and the o o obg object uh, file so obviously you have to have your blender program installed inside your computer go into here open a new one delete the cube and uh, here you will have to change the view here in meters go into view change the end meters to from 10 from 1000 to 10000 meters click and make sure that you have changed it properly and then once you have done that go into file and then go into import and then go into wavefront object so navigate to your dock station folder go into the screenshot 3d dragon ball whatever and open the obg so once you have here you will see that you have successfully extracted the you know like the ground of the of the game the characters, this one that was Kid Buu flying. So what you're gonna do first is go into object mode. We're gonna try to load the textures, sculpt mode, and then um, kind of make this thing bigger. So you see two columns of icons going to paint. And here you can see, click on the character and you will see that both players should be texturized. Well, Buu is kind of fucked up, but Goku looks uh, just fine. So what you're gonna do is go back into the object uh, as you can see, all of the scene that we just extracted is identified as a single object, so everything is like fucked up. So what you're gonna do is go into um, into edit mode and try to select the character as best as you can, uh, something like that. And then you have you have you just have to press the P button and click in buy loose parts. 
So um, once you click and buy loose parts, you just have to click it uh, in the object mode uh, and try to click the, ge the guy here, the Goku. You will see that now it's not longer recognized everything as a single scene, but we, we were managed to separate it. We managed it to separate from the scene. We just selected Goku, his shadow and a bit of the floor. So once you are here, click in Control C, Control C until you copy it. I don't know how. And then we try and, and let's hope that we just copy the thing here. So, um, okay, uh, it, it kind of crashed. Uh, I don't know what happened. Uh, maybe because I clicked this guy so many times. I'm going to open the Blender again. Uh, I'm going to delete the cube again. Just change the view here to 10,000 instead of 1,000. Make sure that it changed. And let's click in uh, Control V. Let's hope that we are able to copy the, th the stuff here. You can see that we successfully copied the Goku here. Go into the, um, uh, let's go in, uh, um, uh, let's select this guy and let's try, let's see, let's give me a second. Let's try to paint it. In edit mode, uh, sculpt mode. Let's see if we can make the textures appear. Okay, we cannot. Fuck. Uh, so I don't know. Sometimes it works. Sometimes it doesn't. Okay, let's try to select all this crap like that, like we did. First, try and take this opportunity to delete the floors that you don't like. Um, try to select all this crap. Uh, and once you select it, uh, click on it and go into set origin geometry to origin so that it gets no it got fucked up so what you're gonna do is click in uh, control J like J like that so you change it into one single object all the parts we still have to remove the shadow so right click set origin geometry to origin here you can see the Goku has transported inside the here are some minuscule stuff that you that were left so let's see if we can paint it now, go to sculpt mode, go into paint and here you can see that we have the um, the the uh, textures, it, it, the model is texturized. So now uh, we only have to delete the shadow, uh, probably there is a better mode to do it, uh, I have no idea how to do it so I, I'm going to do it the only way that I know. So uh, basically what I do now is um, go into the uh, edit mode. Just select all the shadow as you can, on the most shadow as you can, as long as you don't select the player. Right click and click in delete vertices. And just do this stuff until you manage to delete all the vertices. You have to do it a couple of times. You will see that little by little they will disappear. Select, right click, delete vertices. Select, right click, delete vertices. Keep in mind that's probably a better way to do this. Um, I only took Blender, this program. I started using it like one day ago, less than 24 hours. So I'm super noob with this program. I just wanted to extract the models of uh, Dragon Ball. So uh, I have no idea how to animate or rig a players or anything like that. So uh, yeah, uh, there's probably a better, more precise and faster, efficient way to do this. So yeah. Um, so yeah, we have this more or less kind of a thing. So uh, now, uh, obviously, it looks the player looks fine. You can move the camera just by clicking in the wheel of the mouse, and you, if you hold Shift, you can move to the sides or up or down. But if you just do the wheel, the wheel of the mouse, you can rotate. So the thing is that the characters look kind of a uh, midget. They look kind of small and they look kind of fat. So I found out that the best proportion to manage this problem is just to um, change the scale of the Y to 1.7. And here you'll see that Goku looks much more better, I think. You know, taller, slimmer and much better, but still not very deformed. So I think this is the best way to, to have it. So yeah, that's uh, one way to have the extracted thing you can texture paint you can see that the texture uh, this model only uses texture for his socks here and his eyes and his mouth and his ears but i have no idea how to make everything complete 
uh, all I know that I was able to, you know, make it like this, like they are co it's colored now. So yeah, this is a uh, way sh you can do the same procedure with all the other characters um, as you want. In my case, I already did the same with all these characters as I showed you before. Um, so yeah, I hope you liked it. I hope you enjoyed and maybe you can use this method to 3D print your characters and make some action figures. So uh, I hope you like this video. See you next time. Bye.